It was great to be with you again and to be able to share some of the exciting things coming up. First of all, I want to encourage you to be praying. I know many of you are, in fact, fasting as well, because we're going into one of our most exciting seasons. Uh, we've got Alpha Invitations going all around the country. In fact, there's 40, 57 different areas that are running Alpha Invitations, probably well over a 1,000 churches involved. This is very exciting. This is John, 4, John 17, the unity across the church. Also, I want to encourage you because many, many ch uh, courses are starting, thousands, in fact, courses are starting at this time of year, and we want to see more and more people from outside the church coming to meet with Jesus Christ through the presentation of the gospel on a, a local Alpha course. So please be praying about that. Also, there's a very exciting initiative that we're just starting. Those churches that have ordered bundles of manuals from the 1st of June going forward we are going to be providing them with a sample of, our, of a Bible, a new international version Bible, that has got Alpha content within it, but also a link into Nikki's Bible in a Year program. Very exciting. And those samples will explain how course participants can a, apply for a free copy of this NIV version Bible. So we're very excited by that. Look out for that if you will. And I also want to encourage you with our National Alpha Conference, which is coming up in October. On the 13th of October, we have a day of intensive trainings around Alpha and some of the specialty ministries. And then the conference proper starts on the 14th and 15th of October. Please encourage as many churches that are running Alpha to bring their teams to the conference. There's probably no better way of understanding and learning the teachings around Alpha, the DNA, and all that goes with that. So thank you so much. Well, finally, I want to encourage you with a verse uh, in John 14 and verse 27 where Jesus said, a Peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. I do not give you as the world gives you. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Something that God's really spoken to me recently about. The Greek word there is Irene. The Hebrew word is Shalom. And both those words stand for a quietness, a calmness, absence of strife, harmony with God and with other people. It's a wonderful word. And Jesus is saying in that verse that you have my peace. In fact, he is the Prince of Peace. We have that peace, that calmness, that rest. Beautiful, isn't it? The problem is... For many of us, we forget the last bit of the verse where Jesus says, Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. And there's two parts to that command, really. First of all, do not let your heart be troubled is an internal thing. We allow ourselves, in fact, the Amplified Version says, do not be agitated or get frustrated. And that often happens, I know, with me, when I try and influence or control things, sometimes trying to see things happen, that are outside of my control. Let God be God, and we just do the bits that he's given us to do. And then do not be afraid of things that happen externally. Of course, there's lots of things happening externally now that are out of our control. But God's in control. And the fact that he is in control, we can be at rest. We don't have to get agitated. We don't have to get fearful. So I encourage you with that. We so need God's shalom, his peace. And it's a distinctive characteristics that we should be showing as Christians. In amongst great pressure sometimes, when we're at peace, it speaks to other people. So I pray, may I speak shalom, peace to you, uh, with all that's going on, that you can rest in Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Thank you and bless you.